think this was in a haul. If I remember, I'll link it below. But it's like four videos back, something like that. Um, so some of these you haven't seen in a haul. These pencils, we'll get to those in a minute. But I found these at a cheapy shop. Really into neon stuff at the moment. Um, seems to be the new in thing with art journaling scrapbooking, neons. They tend to go through phases. Unicorns were the phase a few years ago. Apparently now it's neon. So I want to see how these work. Um, these were $12.95. Then I was in Kmart and I saw these jumbo crayons. Um, and they were just hanging around on a, on a shelf. I picked them up. They've got a sharpener in them too. They've got two sharpeners now. Uh, I wanted to see if these are water soluble um, or how they draw. Because I would love a pack of the Stabilo All Stabilo All something chunky crayons. Um, is that what they're called? I'm not quite sure off the top of my head. Um, but they are quite expensive, so I thought I'll have a go at these. And then I picked these up at Officeworks last time I did an order, mainly because I saw Neve Bailey, and I should stop watching YouTube videos, <laughs> had these and was playing with these. So these are from Stedler. These are Text Surfer Dry. No idea what that means. Um, but they're supposed to be like a pencil highlighter. Inkjet and paper plus copy plus fax. That's what it's written on. So there's green, yellow, orange, and pink. And while I was having trouble finding those, I actually found these, and these were Prismacolor. So every time I have to order stuff for work, I usually grab a couple of things for me. Um, so these are Prismacolor in neon yellow, neon pink, and neon orange. I can't read the actual colour names. It's in gold. So I thought we'll have a go at swatching those out. So I've got some just some plain white cardstock here. And then I've got some watercolour card underneath to have a go to see if the jumbo crayons are water soluble. You think with kids stuff they'd be washable. So here we go, jumbo fluoro. What are they called? Jumbo pencils. Neon pencils. Neon mont. mont, mont. Mark. So Montmark here, if you're not from Australia, I can't read, can't see what I'm writing, is like a artist brand, but like a student quality artist brand. They have a lot of stuff, and I've seen a lot of your cheapy shops. Not like your Dollar Trees over in Australia, over in America. Um, that type of shop, might be your dollar, family dollar, the one that has things that are not just a dollar. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to pop these open. And I thought these weren't badly priced at $13. I don't know what. And coming with the sharpener was good as well. Get rid of that packaging. So they have colours on them. Nope. That's what they're like. Oh, they're nice and smooth. So that's the blue. Go the orange. Oh, wow. That's very very fluoro. I have to see how I can use these in art journaling. Hopefully they'll go for paint and stuff. Um, or under paint, I don't know. Half the time when I buy stuff, I have no reason why I'm buying stuff. I just see it or using it and put it myself. Apologise if the table's wrecking. Uh, um, rocking my tripod is sitting i've made my own tripod and i've had it for ages and it's not sitting correctly it's sitting on my desk or leaning against my desk and it should be leaning back again so it's not attached to the desk so if i wiggle the desk the tripod doesn't wiggle i wonder if these are water soluble let me grab a paintbrush yeah my desk is a disaster i do need to clean it um from the last few projects i've done <laughs> me and cleaning is not very good we're just going to grab the blue Not water soluble at all, which is good in one way. Wonder if it says on it. Sometimes they say they're washable. If they say they're washable, jumbo create and colour in neon. Create and colour in neon might mark jumbo pencils, the easy grip body and colour popping tips. Make colouring easy and fun for all ages. Um keep sharpening away from children. Okay. It does not say on here they are washable, so hence why they are not water reactive. Okay, cool. So they'll be fun to draw with. 
So let's try Jumbo. Whoops, a bit of paper's fallen off my pad. I've got done Jumbo, crayons. Well, they're not really crayons, they're pencils. Put in here, Kmart. It's fun to swatch out your supplies when you get them. A, you get to um, use them straight away, which is fun. And B, you can sort of see what they do. I may keep that packet, I may not. Oh, you should see beyond the filming area. So these sharpeners look exactly the same. Oh, that one's a bit bigger. So I have two sharpeners now. So let's have a go at these. Oh, that's a nice colour. I do like that colour. So they're going on the paper really well. It'd be interesting to see how they go over paint and gesso, whether they're too... Um, that's a nice colour too. Um, whether they're too hard. I don't know, I think these were six bucks from Kmart, so I thought, why not give them a try? What's the worst I've done if I've... Don't like them, I've wasted six dollars. Oh, I like the colour. Purple colour's nice. They managed to do this one for a while. I just haven't got back to sitting at my desk. But I thought I've got some free time tonight. I could either go do that paperwork I'm supposed to be doing, ha ha ha, this weekend. Or I could sit and play. So it is a Friday night, not sure what date this um, video will go up on YouTube. But I'm having a play on a Friday night. And I should be doing other stuff. Just another yellow. No, it's green. So they probably are meant for children, these ones, but I'm a big kid, aren't I? I want to see if these are water reactive. Because that would be somewhat fun if they were. Probably throw the neon ones in with a pencil case I have of all stuff I use frequently on my desk and they'll get used a bit more. Let's have a go with this black one. Ooh. Not water reactive at all. Ooh, that will be good. Yep. No, it's not coming off at all. Because it didn't say on this package that they were quality. Oh, nine quantity. Sorry. Must mean the sharpener. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, must include the sharpener. Um, easy grip. You don't need that. I'm getting old. Choking hazard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, please soak the clothing in soapy water for 20 minutes before washing. Okay. Maybe if I soak my paper for 20 minutes. But they are quite cool, but won't move with water. So they might be fun to draw something on and then paint and stuff over it that might be fun so let's do these ones what are these ones these ones are this t a e d t l e r i think these are supposed to be a pencil highlighter i think I don't know what the text surfer dry means. I think I read on the Officeworks website that they were it's like a highlighter pencil. It took me a while to find them and I almost gave up because I didn't really catch the name of them that were in these video. And then I was um, searching for fluoro and nothing was coming up. And then I thought, oh, I'll just try the word neon. They come up and then the word neon. So if you're looking for them, search neon and they'll come up on the Officeworks site. is very bright. Oh, I should have done smaller gaps than I could have. I don't know whether I've got a pencil sharpener for these being the big try. I suppose they'd fit in here. Yeah, it would fit in there. They're really nice and smooth. Now let's try them. I haven't really tried Prismacolor pencils before. I've got some other brand I bought, Alexis. Prismacolor Premier is what's written on it. Go at 
these, we'll see what these are like. Mm, going on really smooth. Goes over each other really nicely too. Some pencils, when you go over them, over over the same area that you put pencil down on, sometimes they will go um, scratch the pencil off. Ooh. I have to see what I use these in. Never really have a purpose when I buy stuff. I just like it and want to try it and then find a purpose for it. Nice array of the neon colours. Um, I don't do a lot of pencil colouring because it irritates me. But this might be nice just to colour a little area on a stamped image or something. That would be fun. Now we worked out they weren't water soluble. So how are we going to have a play with them? Hmm... I want to go have, see they have, ugh, I can't talk. I want to see how they go over like a painted surface. So let me see if I can find, I'll pause for one second. For you, it will just roll on through. Um, I want to pause to see if they'll draw over like a paint or a gessoed surface. So let me see if I can find something in my art journal or quickly gesso a page and we'll see if we can do something like that. So I've grabbed an art journal that has gesso and a bit of gloss spray on it from a class I did ages ago. I just want to see how these draw over gesso. Only these ones. Oh. They're drawing quite nice. I thought they might be a bit scratchy. Okay. They are going over the gesso quite nicely. Just doing some white triangles? I have no idea. They're going over the texture really well too. Ooh, this might be fun to do some mark making. do some mark making within my art journal pages and these pencils won't move I don't know what I'm doing I'm just drawing triangles some sort of background They're even going over the gloss spray, which is surprising because not a lot of got not a lot of things go over the gloss spray. Just because it's glossy. It's really fun to use in layers though. Probably not going over his gloss spray as much as on the white gesso. move with the gessoed surface with water just because the gesso puts a barrier on the page I don't think they're moving at all no Ooh, fun. let me just dry that off and then I'll put some water on there Put a light wash of paint on that. What paint colours have I got just here that I haven't cleaned up off my desk? 
put some yellow paint over the top and it is a slightly thicker paintbrush than I've got. This one, I think my big thick one is sitting in the cup of water. So it'll be interesting if I know yellow is a soft colour anyway. I want to add a bit of water to water down the paint a little. This is just Dina Wakely paint. I believe this one's called Lemon. Lemon. Hmm, so if we paint over it, you'll still see it underneath. Hmm. Interesting. Great for making some marks and stuff before you start your pages. And it's definitely not shifting. As I said, the ones I had my eyes on, um, I think they used to be like all or woody. Oh, they're woodies. Woody, stubby woodies, woody stubbies. Or something. I don't know. Um, find a link, I'll put them down the bottom. But they're the same sort of pencils, but I believe they're water reactive. Again, I've seen someone on YouTube use them, and it's like, oh, I'd love to have those, but they're a bit pricey. Um, I believe they were bought this by the Sibilo All brand. Um, I think they're called Sibilo Woodies now that I think of it. But they were water reactive, so if you did stuff like this over it, you'd, um, you would um, move all the pencil underneath. Which having them permanent is kind of good in a way. Oh, I forgot to see if I was in shot. Sorry if I was out of shot a bit. I haven't moved my laptop across to in front of me, so I can't see what I'm doing. Mm, that's fun. Let me go see if I can find some thing to put on top and give that a bit of a dry. Find a focal image or two. Let's see if we can't find... Let me just adjust that camera at once. Oh, why? Why do I always go to adjust the camera the wrong way? Now, this is just a pile of magazine uh, images and book images I've cut out. I'm just going to see if I can find something to go on here. Sort of looking for the colours or... Um, I don't know. Home magazines. I think I've got some... that'd be pretty cool when I'm flipping through magazines if it catches my eye and sort of um, catches my eye as I'm flipping through then I will take the page out and usually we'll put these into a bit uh, sort them out and put like buildings all together and stuff, but I hadn't got that far yet. So just trying to go through. I quite like this. I don't know why. It's fun and funky. Sometimes I pull out images because I like them. Sometimes I pull them out because they're funny. It just depends on why and I was trying to get rid of some of the bulk of what books and magazines I was hanging on to just to have a few images out of so I do like this red what is this red thing test your <laughs> test your testosterone that's a really good one isn't it I think I'll change the heading on the top of that. Just flicking through to see what matches in the colours. We've sort of got yellow. What a shame I couldn't put that. What a shame that bunny is not the other way. Actually, we might go with those two. Sometimes it's going with your first choice and not procrastinating too much. I procrastinate way too much when I do stuff. I think this is coming into older books, jars and stuff. Sometimes I pull out stuff like headdresses. Maybe I completely changed my idea. I 
actually I think I'm going to go with that and put a quote on it I think that's what we're going to do so this come out of a not National Geographic an Australian Geographic um, whatever they're called could be called Australian Geographic so I'm just going to whoops quickly fussy cut this out I'm not going to be too precise around all the fancy bits because that will just annoy me. We're going to cut those bits off because they'll annoy me too. I don't know, silly page. Why do I art journal? Because I like to make silly things. Do I art journal to make pretty things all the time? No. Do I care if pages look... Whoops, I spilled my water again. I had a watercolour piece I was working on the other day and spilled water all over it. Which was highly lovely. Usually I don't like things floating, but I do like it ground to the top of the page. Which side do I want to cut it off? I think I want to cut it off this side. I want to glue it on. It's going to use some liquid adhesive. This one's nearly finished, so I've got to squirt it really, squeeze it really hard, which is a pain. is a bit of a pain. Let's get it half glued on then I'll glue the other half on. So for me art journal isn't making a um, a perfect piece all the time. It's more about having fun. This glue is not being nice. I wonder if I could take the top off. Uh -huh. Grab a spatula, grab some glue, and spatula it on. I like this glue except for when it gets right down the end, it doesn't want to come out. Smooth it on so we don't get as many wrinkles as we should. Whoops. I think this glue's nearly gone. Let's sit it upside down and see if I can get some more glue out of it. Whoops. So just having fun with this background I created. I might grab those pencils in a minute and do some more mark making on the top. Try and put my pin back in my glue. The pin's supposed to have a nice fine tip on it. And now that's probably going to gunk up the top. Let's see, we'll have to try to put that upside down somewhere. Hopefully it won't spill out. <laughs> oh, me and glue sometimes do not play nice together. I'm just going to trim that off the side. And off the top. This is another page I've got to fix in my journal. I don't like this page. May just end up gluing it together because <laughs> this journal is just about full. 
getting quite chunky. I'm just going to give that a bit of a buzz with the heat to dry the glue. So I want to grab a black Stabilo or pencil and put it just shattering around it so it... Very bad idea of putting these in here. I might put these in my other pencil case, the big chunky ones. Otherwise I can't find a thing in here. Stabilo or pencil. One of these. So if you don't know what a Stabilo or pencil it is, it is a water reactive pencil. So it does a lot of shadowing. So I'm just going to lightly draw around my mask. This is what I thought these other pencils might do, might be water reactive, but they're not, which is good. So now I'll grab a damp brush. You don't want to be too sopping wet. And then you just activate the pencil and it gives it a nice shadow. So it stands out for the page a bit. As I said, half the time I don't art general to make a beautiful page. I do like how this is coming up. Um, you can also go where the page is wet. I can also go over with the pencil to add it a bit darker. If I want a bit more shadow. You don't want to go too heavy handed with the pencil because otherwise when you hit it with the water it goes very dark. But you can always add more in. I'm going to grab, where did I put them? I just had them. The pencils I was using. Oh, stuck them beside my desk. I just want to grab the black one. And see. If I can put a bit of a border around here, then I'm going to put a quote on this page. Could have done this with the Stabilo Oil Pencil and activated it with water, but this pencil is a bit less black. Oh, I've got something falling on my desk, so I said I've got to clean up. I do have lots of ripples, but there was lots of ripples in this page anyway. Quickly pause and Google a quote, and then put a quote here. And we've got to call that page done. So I'm really impressed. You can see those crayons through the paint. So they'll be good to do some mark making in the background, and then paint over the top. Let me go find a quote about a mask or something. Okay, so I think I found a quote I want to use. Let me find a black pen to write out with. I've got a quote that says, Don't ruffle my feathers. I was flicking through quite a few to find one that would work. So I'm thinking I'm going to have feathers across the bottom. Don't, don't, what does it say? Don't ruffle my don't ruffle. Okay. Let's have a go. My handwriting is not the best, but we are going to go with it. We're going to make these letters a bit thicker. Don't ruffle. Okay, dokey. Now let's get a 
I wonder if I can make that my bigger. It might come off nicely. Advantage of using the paint pen over um, is if you're quick enough, you can take it off. Yeah, I'm just going to try to make these bigger without making a mess. YouTubers I watch make this look very very easy and it's not doing lettering but we are gonna make it we're gonna make it work I need a little apostrophe up here I'm gonna get a bigger pen to cover the rest of it in I'm sure I might get my bigger pen now. Someone's playing with a bit. My big, thick pen. Let's see what I can do. This one's one of the Kmart, um, uh, Kmart paint pens that I really, really like. I'm colouring in bigger areas, I like to use a fatter tip pen. Just because it goes quicker. up in a minute. I need a scrap bit of paper. <sighs> Prime my pen up a bit. This one I haven't used for a little while so it's being a bit of a... it's not running as it should. I might give it a shake. Come on, I know you've got lots of paint in there. I haven't used you a lot. Oh, come on. Why is it being a pain? Paint pens don't like me on video or on lives because they just don't like to work. Come on. Shouldn't pump it up and down like I'm doing at the moment, but irritating me. Maybe need a bit of paper that's not shiny. I don't think I have that in my bin. No, my paper is a shiny magazine. It shouldn't make a difference. Ah, it just needed to be sworn out under my breath and then it started to work better. Pens. Some days I wonder Now it's working nice and nice and flowy like it should. So paint pens have a big reservoir of paint up this part of the pen. They have a little valve here and they have a little reservoir of paint. So if that little reservoir of paint runs out and your pen's not working well, you just press your nib into your pen and hold it down for about five seconds and wait and then test your pen. If it doesn't work, this is how you activate your pens as well. If it doesn't work, you do it a second time. You don't pump up and down because you can break that little valve and then your pen's just leak everywhere which is not a good look so I'm just trying to put some little funky feet on the bottom of my letters and sort of make them chunky so they fill in the space 
as I said, I'm not the best at lettering. I probably need these letters a bit small, but I'll uh, see if we can't make them bigger. At least a bigger fat pen. Whoops. Okay. Not so bad. I'm going to give that a bit of a dry. So that's all dry marker over white pen and just do a bit of white highlighting on those letters. This size pen. Oops. Trying to keep all my black and white pens in this one's my white suitcase of pens and the other one's black. So I don't go and lose my pens and then open another set and have several of the same tip open. Because if you don't consistently use paint pens, they can dry out. And I'm sick of losing stuff. Because usually when I'm finished with a project on my desk, I just sort of swish stuff everywhere and don't. Or I clean up my desk to do something else on it. And I don't necessarily put my pens back where they should go. So if I thought if I had a dedicated little pencil case for my black and white pens... A, I'd be able to find them, and B, I'll only have one of each open, and then I will consistently use that one, and they won't block up and dry out on me. Been working so far, only had those little containers I got from Daiso for a couple of months, but it seems to be working, and they're great just to grab and go as well. If I want to go and do some black and white pen work away from my desk they're in a little pouch I can just grab them and go I love how putting the white on it makes it pop because my letters are quite thin I'm sort of just going in the middle and because it's yellow in the background now this white pen's deciding it doesn't want to play nice um, I'm sort of going in the middle of the letters to give them, make them stand out a bit more. On the bigger, fatter letters, I'm doing a second line. I don't know why. Just because I can. And I think I'm going to stop there because stopping, finding when to stop, realizing when to stop are two different things. So I think I'm going to have fun with those pens in the background. Um, I'll have to play with the fluoro ones a bit more. So inevitably when I do that, I will film a video or I'll pop a post in the community section of... See, look, I'm being good. I'm putting my pens away. Um, yeah, cute little containers I got from Daiso. I might actually grab a couple more when I next go to Daiso. Daiso's about um, two hours, two and a half hour drive away from us, so I don't get down there very often. Get down there when we go for doctor's appointments in Melbourne. So... Um, uh, yes, um, I might grab a couple more. Hopefully, I have some more colours because then I can put these chunky things in one. Because these don't have a bag now. Stick them in there for now. So I'm quite happy you can see that in the background. That'd be fun for some mark making and some chunkiness. So that was a play with our jumbo crayons and our neon crayons. Um, from Kmart and the Cheapy Shop and a fun little page it's a page done in my book is it my best work? no did I have fun sitting here and doing it? yes um, is it a page complete in my book? yes um, so art journaling is all about just sitting down and having a play it doesn't have to be a masterpiece every time 
basically triangles in the background, yellow paint, face, and quote. That was it. It's good when your focal image takes up most of your page. Thank you very much for watching, and I will be back on soon with another video. I try to be more regular on this channel, but life just keeps getting in the way. I tend to make plans lately, and then my plans just get all thrown out the window. <laughs> life. I don't know. Fun and games. Bye for now.